For a business that does best when calorie counts are not at the front of your mind, Baker Tracy Morrison at Campbell's Sweets Factory says they do well when people are out and about. The whole facade of our store is windows, so it's people looking in. And I mean, we have a cotton candy tree for crying out loud. So it's, you know, walking by and seeing it and then feeling, oh my gosh, I need to go in there and check that out. Tracy says they'd welcome a bus that shuttles people around just their community because not far away. Lakewood is growing. There's a lot of great shops that are on the other side of town. Former circular writer Britton Ramsey says there are people having trouble getting around who can't make it to Lakewood's main business district on Detroit Avenue. Ramsey's already drummed up plenty of support for bringing a shuttle system back after posting about it on Lakewood's community Facebook page after RTA ended the program in 2009. With the circulator, it's, it's not only nice to have but people were dependent on that. RTA tells News 5 ridership was low when they canceled the program, and they've tried to accommodate riders with duplicative routes. But trying to find your way around a route map that looks like this may be a little bit complicated and stop some people before they've even started. Tracy says she loves using public transportation, but she understands why some people may want a simpler route to ride. Something that would require very little research, I think, would be important to the community. I mean, it wouldn't be daunting or scary in any way. In Lakewood, I'm Kevin Barry for the ET. And in 2009, Lakewood's Mayor Mike Summers says the bus cost RTA a little less than $500,000 a year and served about 20 riders every hour. Converted to today's dollars, Mayor Summers says it would probably cost about $600,000 a year. All right, folks, there's a